Okay. Let's get out of here. Because it's not often you enter a new area through a secret passage. Like, that has to be meaningful, doesn't it? Yeah, that has to be meaningful. I didn't want to close this door. Open that up. Because in any other game, you would enter this temple from the front, and then you'd discover the secret passage later, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you think? No, that's just a door. I've just locked myself in now. It's an interesting little place. So my guess is that like, the natives used this area for something, like leaving their fruits or whatever for sacrifice. And... This is actually a secret tunnel that they're not supposed to know about. Oh, I guess they would, because there is a... The door can be closed from this position. And it doesn't have a knob on it. So I just closed myself in this little room. But I might need to open this door, because like sometimes they'll put... There's something on the back side of a door you need to see, so I do need probably need that door closed at a later time. But for now, I'm gonna open it up and walk through it. Well, actually, before I do that, there's one more location I can check out on this side of the area. So I want that door open for now. Does this thing do anything different when I've got the door in that room closed? Because I don't, I don't know if these are like remote viewing devices or if those are actually tubes that are looking into nearby rooms. Like, what is this? I can't even tell what this is. It looks like a cliffside somewhere with like a little stairway leading up to it. I'll have to. When I see the screen that that's pointing at, I'll probably know what it is. Actually. Let's see if I can find the viewing device, because it, it would be pointing out over here somewhere, you would think. Let's see if I can find where the viewing device in this room is. Like, it would be along one of the walls, you would think, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. It's kind of difficult to tell how the orientation of this place fits together because of the little twisty tunnels and things, but... The door in there is closed. I just want to see if this little geothermal cage chair does anything different. I can't get around to the back side of the chair. Like, my options from here are sit in the chair or nothing. I can turn in this room, but otherwise I can't get around the back side of that chair. So let's go ahead and sit in the chair, bring the cage down. I want a chair like this in my house. Like, this will be... No, I don't. That's that's horrible. Why would I want that? Turn that back on. It's like, why would you need to sit in this chair and look through these two little devices? Now, if I flip the switch and push the button over here, the switch will automatically disengage. Okay. Sometimes the solution to a puzzle is determining what states you can get the puzzle elements into. Like, if I could throw the switch and then push the button, and then push the button, and the switch would stay put, that would tell me something about the game world I did not know before. Okay, so I want this door open, but I don't actually want to go through it yet, because there's one other location on this side of the island that I can check out. I haven't drawn any maps or taken any notes yet, I'm just... Step one is just kind of wander around and find where the walls are. You want to find out where your barriers are in like every direction. Once you've gotten like your range of motion determined, then you can kind of have like a mental map of the area, and that's always useful. So this is a little cliffside path here. And a wooden door. And another... Knife is there. Oh, it's locked from that side. Um, 
Okay. Why would it give me a view towards the bottom? That's such a cool effect. What is down here that I could... Oh, I went underneath the door. I see. You just crawl underneath it. Gotcha. Gotcha. I want to take that little knife with me, though. I just want to collect those. Like, have 50 of them. And I want to make sure that I know exactly where I'm moving. I'm going up this little ladder. And that brings me... Oh! To another viewport. This must be... Wait, what? What good does that do me, though? I'm looking, in, I'm looking through a scarab at another scarab. No, I'm not looking through a scarab, because the scarab would be at the five points of the star. So I'm looking through a hole in the side of the wall. Okay, we need to go back to that room. I want to see if I can find out where the holes in the wall are from that side. Like, if I can see them, or if they're hidden, or what. Yeah, this, the five pillars are at the points of this star, which means these little view... Oh, they are. I can see them. Okay. So... Which side is it? My next step is I want to try to get into this room through the little cave. And I'm not sure how I would do that exactly. Let's see if we can, f if I can, I could brute force just push the button, go down and check, push the button, go down and check, but I might be able to determine, because, okay, from this door, the gated door is one, two clicks to my right. So let's go back down here. I'm surprised I didn't get stuck on this. I, this is the kind of thing I would get stuck on for hours. Hey, the door doesn't open. It's locked. I need a key. No, it's just go underneath it. And from here, I can't see the gated door. Damn it! <laughs> My one landmark, and I can't really see it. Um, so there's a wall, and there's a wall. Which means the entrance must be to one side and the gated door must be to the other side. And since the gated door was two clicks to the right of the entrance, the entrance must be along the wall to my left from here, and then the gated door must be along the wall to my right. So let's see what that does for me. Ba -ba -ba. So yeah, this must be the cave that I just came out of. Okay, so if I spin the door, one step to the right, I should be able to come in through the cave. Which is annoying because, of course, the door spins to the left. That was two. So I should have to just spin it four times. Three. Four. That should do it. If I'm right. If I'm not right, then... Well, first time for everything, I guess. Don't kick the door. And it's like, you should... This door looks kind of flimsy. Like, I could I'd probably break that just with my bare hands. Yes! Sweet. All right. And now this... Oh, you know what? This gate... This is almost the same configuration as the first... That gate's not part of this. That gate's not spinning with the room. That gate is sitting on that side of the bridge. Because there are two doors here. See? This is the door that I came through originally. And I just spun it to this position. Two clicks to the right is another entrance. So let's see. From the first room when I came in here, I could put the gated door either at the dome or at this cave. So, can I spin it? How many exits must there be then? Huh. Yeah, that, that, 
that gate's not spinning with the room. I thought it was originally, but it's not. So those gates, that gate does have to be lifted from the other side. Because earlier when I said we got to put the gate in front of the cave, oh, you know what? No, that that's still that's still true. Now I just know how to get to the cave. That's all. Now the gate's in front of the cave. Is, oh, that's not the cave. That's a door. Something is weird here. I gotta figure out how this room's moving. Fortunately, the space button will uh, spin the room. Okay. So the doors are always in the same place. One is two clicks to the side of the other one. So I can come into this room through the main entrance and did the game just freeze? Did the game just really freeze on me? It did. The game froze. That's awesome. 